Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at faking HDR photography in Photoshop. If you're not familiar with HDR photography, I've done a post on OctoGFX.com of a compilation of 35 fantastic HDR photographs. So I'll put the link in the video description below so you could check out some of these pictures so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you could even read this description to get a sense of it. I'll read a little snippet of the description in this video too. In a simplified sense, HDR, High Dynamic Range Photography, is the process of taking multiple pictures at different exposures and combining them to get an amazing end result. When you combine a picture taken at a high exposure, low exposure, and normal exposure, you get a very fantastic effect. And these are very well shown um, in the collection of pictures that I have on this post. So we're going to be faking this process in Photoshop. We don't have three separate pictures taken at different exposures. We just have one picture and we're going to fake the effect. And actually, it's a lot simpler than you probably think it is. This is the HDR image that we will get in the end. And this is the original image. As you can see, there is a huge difference. So let's get started. I'm going to delete this HDR layer and we're left with the original image. What you want to do is duplicate the layer first. So um, unlock the layer. If it's not unlocked yet, double click on the layer to unlock and press OK. And when it's unlocked, right click on the layer and click duplicate layer and then just press OK. We want to make this layer black and white. So let's go to image, hover over adjustments and click on black and white. Press OK to the default settings and then we're going to invert this image to make it negative. So click on image again, hover over adjustments and click on invert. And we have this. Now we want to set the, set the layer mode or the layer style to overlay. So just click right here and click overlay. And we're almost done. Now we want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a Gaussian blur. Now the blur is going to depend on uh, what your image looks like or how intense you want the um, HDR result to look like. So give it no blur if you want it to look pretty bland. Um, give it a higher blur if you want it to look more fantastic and uh, dramatic. So I'll give it a blur with a radius of about 40 pixels and press OK. And that's it. We're done. Here is our faked HDR image. And it looks really, really cool. This is an effect that you could use on pretty much almost any image, but obviously it's going to look uh, better on some images than others. That's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something, and this is a very cool trick so that you could use in the future. Until next time, I will see you guys later.